Hello, in this video, we will compare the PAL scan with GX10 scan and elaborate on differences between them. What is PAL scan? The pulse uses the heart rate to monitor the body's response to that frequency. Under ideal conditions, the only variable of change should be the frequency, but this is not the case. Most individuals' heart rate changes with normal body movements. Thus, when you do a pulse scan, you should try to keep your body still so that you can get more accurate results. Pulse can be used to discover frequencies which can calm the body, healing frequencies, and get rid of pathogens, healing frequencies. Since the body is a detector as observed by changes in the heart rate, one can use this form of biofeedback to interrogate how the body responds to any frequency. We base our assessment under the model that any frequency that caused body some form of stress resulted in an increase in heart rate and its corollary that any frequency that caused the body to calm a decrease in heart rate. What is GX10 scan? The GX provides the current and phase angle method of detecting resonance. This method is not monitoring the body's response, instead looking for frequency resonance directly from the area subjected to the current. During a bell feedback scan, Generator X records how the electrical signal behaves. A brief change in the electrical pattern shows that a heat was detected. There are two different ways that Generator X measures the change. 1. Current flow. This is like water running in a river. Normally, this is constant, but if the level of the water rises, the flow increases. Generator X measures this flow rate. 2. Phase angle. If you are working with your child, normally they are at your side. But if you start working over rough terrain, the child will fall behind. Phase angle is like the distance between yourself and your child. The terrain is everything between the tense paths. Generator X measures when the terrain is rough or smooth. Some bell feedback systems can measure one or the other, but not many do both, and none can reach the dizzying speeds of Generator X. What are the differences between PAL scan and GX10 scan? Through the above analysis, we can find that the functions of GX and the XM are essentially the same if you run them to generate frequencies, which are monitored by using the pulse bell feedback method. The major difference between an XM and GX10 scan preset is the selection of what method to use, PPM or HRV, versus current or angle. Of course, one will want to tweak the ranges according to match the method, so this is the second major difference. Otherwise, most other variables could be the same. In terms of the usage, pulse scan is more suitable for scanning your whole body. Well, GX was recommended for local scan. The time of running GX is faster than pulse. It takes about 40 minutes to do a pulse scan, and you can't move in this process. However, it just takes 6 minutes to do a GX10 scan, and you can do something you want. These two scan methods have their own advantages and limitations, and you can choose it according to your own needs. Thanks for watching this video. Which scan do you prefer? What other questions do you have during bell feedback scan? Welcome to tell us.